welcome everyone today we'll discuss in detail the balance scorecard and how does it impact the organization change or transformation process in short so yes the topic is the balance scorecard and change so let us first identify what exactly is balance scorecard it is a measurement system anything that can be measured remember always i keep on saying it anything that can be measured can be managed and we are looking at managing a particular system through a particular sets of values principles and standard or in short a management philosophy so balance code is the amalgamation of a measurement system and management philosophy through which we manage the particular system thereby so basically the four perspectives are internal business process as to how do we operate learning and growth is how to be a learning organization a growth oriented organizations we need to be productive profitable and that can be only be can be asserted if we have a loyal customer base so that needs to be negative can never be negated and obviously yes money is the fulcrum through which every organization works through it is the oil or it is the catalyst in the thing so basically four perspective are the internal business process the learning and growth or the technology that we are looking into it the customers and the financial perspective yes this will translate our vision into a reality our strategy into a visibly seen or force to be reckoned with that is what a balanced scorecard is all about it these are the only four elements that needs to be ascribed to the balanced scorecard focuses on the factors that create a definitively long-term value traditional financial report system look backwards remember they reflect on the past and try to elongate and project to the future orientation they do not measure creation or destruction on the future economic value as in what the balance scorecard would be doing it it will identify the factors remember we are looking at identifying and probably pruning the factors for a longer term economic value in an organization for example the customer focus should satisfy retain acquire customers in the targeted segment that we are looking forward to yes that is the end requirement of the day the business processes deliver the value proposition to the target customers innovate products and services high quality flexibility responsive operating process is what we are looking into it remember it's an amalgamation of people process and customizations right customer so we have talking about the internal business for uh, process we should be customer oriented and definitely a organization which loves to be successful which loves to replicate the success over a period of time or should i say sustainable it needs to be an organization learning and growth develop skills and motivate employees thereby provide the access to strategic information remember that's the only way to go forward it align individual team members to build across the business unit objectives yes truly if we can have so we will impact it in a positive fashion altogether that is what we are looking for the balance scorecard remember focuses only on creating a longer term value the four perspective first and the foremost thing is the financial perspective that we go around it it should be a profitable venture first thing if we do not satisfy the very criteria the organization cease to exist now as a financial perspective what are the mission to be driven away it's the financial contributors or the fiscal obligation that needs to be taken care for i am sure most of you are aware of this requirement let us come to the next best thing that can enable a free flow of funds that is customer customization or customer perspective so profit driven what does the customer expect what is it that can deliver values to the customer the mission being as to identify who particularly are our customers and what does the customer expect from mm -hmm. us now based on these things we are focused on the financial perspective as to generate profitability and profit over a period of time that can only be done if we are customer oriented now these two can be arranged if and only if there is an internal business process the internal perspective as to what processes satisfy 
every one of the stakeholders that is there it is the stakeholders that we are looking at be it internal or external now what internal process must be excellent so i'm trying to sustain or build up the case for a competitive advantage at least at certain areas the organization needs to excel and probably uh, probably cater to the customer changing customer requirement yes this change has to be the learning and growth perspective that comes around it this is where the profit driven is all about it as to employ the latest trends latest fads or the technology that needs to be driven across it should be the organization i am saying should be future oriented you should ensure as far as the mission is concerned that the people learn develop skills so that they are vibrant in the dynamic environment and the challenges that is been thrown every now and then so answering this question itself will help us to develop the balance for god let us try and understand adapted to the non profit or probably should i say a social organization in this case a government organization remember the mission is if we succeed how we will look as to a financial donors are concerned and they should be we should be look creating a particularly a happy picture around it to achieve a vision how must we look at our customer to satisfy our customers financial donors mission what business process must we excel at this is what we are looking into it to achieve a vision how must our people learn how must our people communicate how must our people work together as in the founding foundations of the organization will be strong only and when there is a inclusivity and participations of all the stakeholders the mission rather than financial and shareholders objective drives the organization strategy remember for non profit organization or government organization the mission is the crux for it the mission is the uh, is the imperative requirement for uh, the organizations to not only succeed or probably bask in, in its glory so why a company adopting balance scorecard number one is because of the change now because financial internal business process uh customer customer for, for uh, orientation and learning and development this is all all amalgamated into one word called change this change is to be formulated has to be communicated into a more competitive environment and why do we change because we need to grow we need to be sustainable we need to be making meaning for the existing of the organization and we need to change because because the external forces are allowing us or forcing us to change and to maintain that growth curve increase revenues not just in terms of cost but also the productivity therein that is what we are looking into it as implementing implementation of this change and in this growth requires everyone to participate everyone to be inclusive into day to day operation and infuse enough confidence in the strategy that the execution becomes impeccable why why do we need a balance for car number one reason as far as business weeks are concerned a business strategy is now the single most important issue and will remain for the next five years and let me tell it to you either we uh, either we become profitable or we become perishable what are the options that an organization has to have around it we need to formulate new strategies we need to reinvent as an organization remember this is what business week said but on the contrary fortune state less than 10% of the strategies effectively formulated are effectively executed so that is where balance scorecard comes into play that is where this 10% has to be increase to full 100 odd percent as to whatever looks good in papers should look wonderful in reality so our research has identified four barriers or what are the barriers for changes in strategic implementation number one is the vision in fact the vision might be very good but the communication of the vision is pathetic only of the 5% less than 5% and i have been very generous when i say it's 5% of the workforce understand the strategy then there is this management barriers as 80% of the 85% of the executive team spend less than an hour per month to discuss strategy as to what is been done and why is it been done in the very first place then comes the resource barrier yes organization uh, are not 
immune to the dearth of resources. In fact, at times they are not even budgeted for in the strategy. Then the last one is your people barrier, where only 25% of the members or the managers have linked incentives to strategy and that is what we are looking into it the vision barrier the management barrier as far as the execution is concerned the resource barrier as far as the availability of resources concerned the people people barrier is where you are not adequately motivated today's management systems were designed to meet the needs of a stable industrial organization but we are changing definitively and incrementally you cannot manage a strategy with a system designed for tactics as that is what we are looking forward to let us understand the bsc bsc is balance scorecard early adopters have executed and how they have done it reliably and rapidly remember when nine out of ten companies fail to execute these strategies that is what we need to go about for a solution we need to understand that there is a vibrant problem in in uh, in force so Fast. It has to be every two, three years to break through result. Probably you should always set up a deadline so that you need to reinvent your process procedures every now and then. The solution was already there. The balance scorecard helped create focus, alignment to unlock the organization hidden assets as the case might be. So let us understand the question. How can complex organization achieve result like this in a such a short period of time? The question to be answered is alignment. The balance scorecard process allows an organization to align, focus all its resources on its strategies. We are talking about the executive team, information technology, budgets and capital investment, human resources and business unit. So we should be talking about the balance scorecard strategy as the case might be every now and then. So how do we do it? The question is, how do we do it? Now I'll give you seven ingredients for a highly successful a balance scorecard program number first is to mobilize organizations and lead for from the front on the ongoing change procedures methods processes so it is to invigorate in the organization throughout the length and the breadth of the organization to uh, make them visualize and see the future as for why change is required the scorecard that describes the strategy with the very best requirement tell the absolute pros and cons about what the scorecard is reflecting linking scorecard to create organizational alignment remember this is what we are looking for it continuous communications to empower the workforce aligning personal goals incentives and competencies with the strategies now this is the alignment resources the budget and initiative with the strategy that comes around it a feedback process that encourages learning and experiences sharing thereby and that is what we are looking for remember that is the thing that comes around it every now and then the seven ingredients that we are talking out here yes what we should be looking how do we go about it where is it that needs to be understood is the ingredient of highly successful brands the scorecard program is all about leadership from the top create a climate for change yes we would look look to go around it make strategies as an everybody's job as to communicate those things every now and then and probably take it front from there we need to understand to unlock the four hidden assets altogether, the hidden focuses, thereby making the strategy a continuous process over a period of time and establish it, make the process, stabilize it, stabilize the process and ensure that the process continues for, the, for a longer period of time before another change has been introduced. So it's the leadership from the top that comes around. Strategies to everyone is an everyone's job, unlocking the hidden times and then probably the strategies are co uh, continuous process that goes around so we need to formulate communicate execute navigate and this balance scorecard card cycle goes on and on a good balance scorecard tells you the story of your strategy it means a measure is a part of the chain of the cause effective the balance exists between the outcomes and the performances driven drivers of the desired outcomes thereby that is what we ascribe to what we look forward to and how we believe we should be working around it the problem is the feedback system you know the feedback system has been vested with a lot of power and as a result 
any deviation any variation that might have has to be applied correctly and correction has to be applied so that we reach on to the goals the problem is the feedback system which is all control oriented as in the feedback and the control loop comes around it the picture actually gives you a vibrant uh, position as to what i am trying to elaborate to you a person aiming for an arrow towards the target if not moving around we have to apply it absolutely make the corrective decision then and there itself so let us understand the strategic learning some very basic concepts first and foremost thing is to replace the budget with the balance scorecard in the right direction definitely yes the budget is all about the inputs and outputs and the correction and the result that comes around it it is the strategic focus not not the strategic learning remember this is what i have been trying to tell it to all of the audiences around here it is the strategic focus and not strategic learning at any cases the way you might think so then is what about the strategic feedback remember feedback creates learning yes every time there is a strategy there is an update on the strategy which is to be done the that, that that means there is a changes in priorities which needs to be uh, hampering the result or probably changing the result so let us move to the inside how it's testing the hypothesis the management meeting follow it up the meeting and then probably refurbish the strategy then and there and this continuously happens so there is a bigger circle that comes around with the strategies feedback and what is happening in the operational loop or as on when on basis whatever impediment whatever difficulties arises you always keep it and move to the next higher echelon and whatever changes that has been incorporated is it yielding the right result is what we should be looking forward to is it on the right path that is what we are determined to find out the ingredient of a highly successful balance scorecard i have already stated it it is everybody's job to be in the loop absolutely in the loop right from the leadership to the person the end person the lowest of the low person who is implementing the change remember we need to look at every aspect of the organization and ensure that the changes have to be stabilized and been put forward every now and then in the system the system should work in tandem at the end of the day financial perspective the internal business process and this is a part of internal business process then is the learning and development and the customer orientations of what will actually determine how vibrant your balance scorecard strategy is all about it so need uh, need to mention out here that every environment is absolutely not appropriate in fact some environment is inappropriate for bsc or balance scorecard remember balance scorecard should be driven from the top the chief executive officer or the chief of op uh, operating officer should be the principal sponsor should espouse the principles of change and should believe in um, believe in it the executive leadership team commitment has to be there should be backing every every employee on the new change a new advent a clear sense of purpose is required to drive change clarify gain consensus about the strategy build a senior executive team focus on the organization align programs and investment integrate cross functionally educate and empower the organization the dynamics of senior executive team will determine whether the balance scorecard becomes strategic management system as the case might be that is what we are looking forward to every moment now and then brings me to the last slide for the presentation here in what i am trying to tell it to you with the balance scorecard management system first and foremost thing is your alignment have an strategy with a framework that aligns to the goal of the organization right throughout the organization and when i say throughout the organization is every employee should be touched upon it as to what the alignment that we are looking for what the change that we are looking for as far as the organizational goals are all about it then we should be talking about the leverage system is to understand what the strategy is all about it and, and how can it be implemented in the best possible fashion how do we compensate for the uh, lack of performance of a one particular department with another over performance with another department remember the financial perspective the customer uh, perspective needs to be needs to be kept in mind how are we not compromising are we increasing the profitability of the firm by 
increasing the cost and the revenue or decreasing the cost and increasing the revenue in, uh, in the process so it is the implementation part of it where we can leverage and last but not the least what we are learning create a feedback process at all level ensure that everybody participates into it everybody understand what is going being done right or the wrong thing remember to measure the performances and contribution to the business thereby this is what we are looking for balance scorecard with this i come to an end of this presentation Thank you for watching this uh, video.